anyway. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about today's episode of Cat Tries to Bake because as some of you might know, I'm a really big BTS fan. I actually flew to LA to see their Permission to Dance in LA concert. You can check out my vlog about that up here. Today, I am going to be making BT21 sugar cookies. Now this is very exciting because I make sugar cookies pretty often, but I've never made the kind that you roll out and then press cookie cutters on. So it'll be my first time cutting out sugar cookies and decorating them with royal icing and it will also be my first time using these bt21 cookie cutters that my brother alex got me for my last birthday for the actual sugar cookies i'm going to be using the all recipes recipe but i am having the recipe because i don't want to make that many sugar cookies i will be linking that recipe in the description of this video so if you want to follow along go and check it out here we go for my first step i have my stand mixer out i'm going to be putting in a stick and a half of unsalted butter and a cup of sugar and i'm just gonna beat them together until they're super, super combined. By the way, I didn't preheat my oven yet because after we make this dough, it actually needs to sit in the fridge for at least an hour. I finished beating my butter and sugar for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add in two room temperature eggs and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's looking pretty good, so now I'm gonna mix in my dry ingredients. Two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. <laughs> Should have worn an apron. I am all done making the dough. The dough definitely is a little sticky right now, but I'm hoping that after I leave it in the fridge, it might be less sticky. All right, so I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl, leave it in the fridge for an hour and see what it feels like. See you in a bit. Later. My dough sat in the fridge for an hour and a half and it's not sticky. I think I'm gonna roll them out, cut the shapes and then bake them tonight. And then I'll decorate them tomorrow. Okay, we're down here now. Is this level? I'll just like scoop it out, I guess. Urgh, pretty stiff, super firm, ready to roll for sure. I'm so excited. So by the way, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 now. Got my powdered sugar here. I'll just take some and start rolling. So I'll just roll this little bit out. Gin's my bias, so I will be doing RJ first. What I really like about this set is you have the cookie cutter, and then after I press the cookie cutter in, I can stamp his little face in. I'm gonna tilt you down a little, actually. All right, let's try. Cut and then stamp. Oh, <gasps> So cute! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna wash my hands and grab the camera and show you. Look, he's so little and cute! Okay, so now that I kind of know what I'm doing, I I think I'm gonna do like one of each character and then just like go in a cycle. I just finished my first group of seven cookies. Let's try to. Let's oh! Gang's all here. So a few tips if you ever wanna try this, keep your dough as cold as possible because they start getting warm pretty quickly. What I was doing was I kept all my dough in the fridge, then I would run, grab a little chunk, roll it out with powdered sugar, and then really quickly, like as fast as I could, cut and stamp and then transfer the cookie dough onto the parchment paper. Because I have, for example, this cutter and then this stamp, when you put it through, there's actually like a little bit of an outline around the character's head head and I wasn't really great at keeping that outline intact. I felt myself getting better and better as I cut more cookies. So my oven is done preheating to 400 degrees. I'm just gonna try baking these first and seeing how they come out. So I'm gonna bake these in the oven for six to eight minutes. At six minutes, I'm just gonna take a peek and see how they look. Wish me luck. I just took my cookies out of the oven. They're a little funny. So I baked them for six minutes and I thought they looked a little pale. So I kept them in for a total of eight minutes. Van, he is very burnt. <laughs> Everyone else looks okay. I'm surprised you can still see the indentation of the stamps. It's just that border like outline part of each cookie is a little too brown. My guess is because that part of the cookie is just a little thinner and so they cooked faster. By the way, I totally forgot to mention before that the whole reason why I'm trying 
these cookies is because a bunch of my friends are gonna come over in a week or so and we are gonna watch the delayed restreaming of the Permission to Dance live in Seoul concert. So I really wanna get these right before they get here. So what I think I'm gonna do with my next batch is bake them for six minutes just so that the borders don't get too burnt. And I think that should be fine. Look at Jimmy. You can't really see the indentation anymore. He's so cute. This though, this is a little sad. On to the next batch. <laughs> update on my second batch. At six minutes, they looked mostly super pale, so I kept them in for a total of seven minutes, and then I noticed some of the borders started to brown, so I took them out really fast. <laughs> These cookies, because I cut them out a little thicker, they did expand a little more, which is nice. Like, I don't want super small cookies. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and use up the rest of my cookie dough, and then I'll see how many cookies I have at the end. <laughs> I just put my third batch of cookies in. They are about the same thickness as my second batch, but I'm trying something different. I'm gonna try baking these at 375 instead of 400. I have a few different kinds of cookies on my online website, which you should totally check out. And I don't have to bake any of those cookies at 400 degrees. Like it just seems like a really high temperature. So I'm gonna bake them at 375 for six minutes. I'm gonna take a peek at them to see how they look and just kind of play it by ear. <laughs> I took my cookies out of the oven and I actually really like how they turn out. I ended up baking my cookies at 375 for seven minutes. The edges are starting to brown a little bit, but not too much. And I feel like the cookies have expanded the most that they can expand. So I feel like I'm probably gonna do that. 375 for seven minutes. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my cookie dough and then call it a night and I will decorate tomorrow. Okay, my last batch of the night just went in the oven. I'm actually gonna try one of these cookies to see how they taste. Hmm. I do wish they were a little sweeter, but I feel like after I put the icing on them, they'll be just the right amount of sweet. It's nice. They're like crunchy on the outside, but pretty chewy on the inside. I have to get up super early tomorrow, so I really gotta go. I'll check back in tomorrow. Early the next morning. Welcome to day two of my BT21 sugar cookie adventure. I just want to take a moment to say, I really like my outfit today. Look at my hair, look at my earrings. This is a jumpsuit and the denim. Round of applause for this outfit. Anyway, I am going to start today off by making my royal icing. I've never made it before and I really wanted to find a recipe that did not use egg whites or meringue powder. This recipe for royal icing is from unsophisticated cook. I will link this recipe in the description of this video as well. So we are starting with three cups of powdered sugar. It's already in this huge bowl right here. And I've fitted my stand mixer with my whisk attachment. While my stand mixer is mixing on low, I am going to be adding my wet ingredients. Two tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of light corn syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am going to actually put in my milk first, just so that it's not just powder for flying everywhere. Cat uh, tries to bake. Let's start with one. Now that all my wet ingredients are in, I'm gonna continue to whip this on medium until it's a nice smooth consistency. So it's whipped on medium for a little bit and it honestly looks kind of like pebbles. They sort of look like Dippin' Dots, honestly. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in like a tiny, tiny, tiny dash of water at a time until it becomes more of a liquid instead of a bunch of little solid balls. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for me to color my royal icing. I have a lot of colors to make. I just looked at the BT21 characters and I made a list of all the colors I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need white, gray, black, red, yellow, brown, darker brown, light blue, pink, and purple. I will start with RJ. Look at how many cookies I have from yesterday. I found a pretty well-formed RJ. There's like a nice outline and I don't know if you can tell, but like at least you can kind of see his face. Although I don't really know what I'm gonna do when I like flood white royal icing and then have to dry his face. Lots of trial and error today, I can feel it. So what I've done is I put RJ on a plate and I've scooped out just a spoonful of white, just regular icing, and then I'm gonna dye this black. Okay, so I have my cookie, my two colors of icing, I have piping bags, and I also bought a bunch of these tools for flooding icing. I have seen people decorate sugar cookies hundreds of times because I'm just obsessed with watching those videos. Okay, got my white ready. Wish me luck. From what I've seen, you outline it first. The icing is coming out 
of the piping guide pretty nicely. Look, there's my little RJ outline. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna fill him in now, I think. Now take this thing and uh, push the icing out. <gasps> it's working. I think it came out really well, especially for my first try ever. I'm gonna set this aside to dry actually before I put on the black. So maybe I'll just do another one. I'll do another RJ. I think I'm gonna set this aside and maybe work on Tata next because honestly, he's the next easiest shape. For Tata, I'm going to need mostly red, but also some yellow and some black. So since I already have the black, I have two bowls here for red and yellow. Let's give it a shot. This pink is so pretty. My general thing today is just if you can tell who they are, then it's a win. The white on my RJs seem pretty dry. Not bad. This really could have been way worse. Maybe he doesn't really have ears and maybe I drew his face a little too high. He does look a little bloated. I finished my first cookie. You can tell mostly that it's RJ. Look, does he look like he has a mustache? A little bit. Next RJ. The second one isn't bad either. Like again, you can tell it's him. And yeah, I messed up that ear a little, but this really could have turned out a lot worse. Oh my gosh, I feel like you can really tell it's him. Again, definitely not perfect, but like that is for sure Tata. Since I have yellow and black ready, and by that I mean yellow and this weird dark gray, I think I'm gonna do Chimmy next. weird because I drew his eyes too close together. Ah! I'm shocked because this is actually kind of the right idea. Last two. Oh my gosh, look at my Koya. He's so sleepy and cute. I think my cookies really just keep getting better and better. Look at him. He's so cute. That took me forever. They look really cute. I think I succeeded in that you definitely can tell, especially when they're all together, who they're supposed to be. <laughs> I definitely learned a lot from doing this, but I will not be doing this for our watch party. <laughs> it is way too much work. And this is not to say that I won't do more sugar cookie decorating in the future, but like, why did I pick something so intricate and difficult for my first time? I am honestly just glad to be done and glad that I did this. And that the one time I did this, I documented it for you. That is it for today's Cat Tries to Bake. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and follow my Instagram and my TikTok if you do not already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!